This is Ben Curtin, part of the Tata Technologies CAD Geek team. Today we're going to take a look at how iLogic for Inventor can be used by Tata Technologies iCheckit software. As mentioned, this video is part of an ongoing series by Premier Autodesk partner Tata Technologies. Follow us at autodesk.cadgeekspeak.com, or if you have additional questions, write us at autodesk at tatatechnologies.com. Let's first take a look at what we've got here. So in this case, I just run a check to determine whether we've got appropriate fillets in this part. This is actually a rule that was written inside of iLogic that's being taken advantage of by the Tata Technologies iCheckit software. So let's take a look at how iCheckit works just briefly with a general example. So iCheckit's a standards management software, kind of like a spell check for CAD. And in this case, if I go ahead and run a particular standard that I've set up, we'll see that I'm missing the description file property. There's a lot of things that were correct about this design, such as that the sketches aren't empty, uh, the work features aren't turned on and visible in the finished part, we don't have zero length dimensions, and so on. So we've got a whole host of over 100 different standard checks, but if one of our default checks does not satisfy all your CAD standards requirements, we can now set up iLogic rules that are directly associated with an iCheckit standard. And the one example I've got set up here is for fillets in this case, where if I apply this, we see that the requirement is failed in this particular component. If I scroll down, it tells us that one of the fillets is valid. There's a three inch fillet that's too big and a Looks like a 1 16th inch fillet that's too small. The way we do this is to essentially use just standard iLogic code. And I've got a rule here that we can go ahead and just take a look at. So if you're able to develop a rule within standard iLogic, something that you want to check for, something you want to happen depending on the conditions of your model, we can utilize this information, utilize this rule, if you will, in iLogic. In this case, I actually used uh, VB to help write some of this information right here. And I've got a loop going through here, checking every feature to see if it's a fillet and then if it's a particular value or not. At the bottom, when I was testing this in iLogic, I'm simply using a message box right now to show me information as to whether this particular check that I'm trying to set up is working or not. Now inside of iCheckIt, I've got a couple other statements that I will turn on when I'm using this as an external rule. For now though, I just leave those off. And when we run that rule, I didn't give the message box a title, but you can see it's telling us the results of that particular iLogic rule. And the fillet size for the eighth inch is valid, three inches too big, 0625 is too small. And the result in this case would be fail. So I don't actually show that as a message box when we're using this attached to iLogic. But what I do is I save this rule out as an external rule. In my case, it's really just something I copied out into an iLogic VB file with that data. In this case, I actually turned off the message box and then turned on the result lines here I need for iCheckIt. Then within iCheckIt's administrative environment, this is where we can go ahead and configure a standard that has an iLogic custom rule in it. Now this could be one type of iLogic, or excuse me, one type of iCheckIt check amongst many others. I just have a simple standard here where if we go ahead 
I'll just double click to edit that where I've really just defined where there is an external rule. In this case, I just put it in the samples directory for I check it that we want to point at. So you can write as many external I logic rules as you want and link to them directly through I check it. So in summary, what this would allow you to do is to define any possible, essentially VB code that you want to be able to check models, drawings, assemblies, and maybe even perform actions on them automat automatically. But to manage that entire standards environment through Tata Technologies iCheckIt software, which can be installed and set up on all the client workstations and enforced from an administrative perspective.